what is going on guys politics gaming here and today i am doing a new episode of the islamic republic of iran Last time, basically, we did a couple things to try and reduce the inflation and the inflation of our country. So what I am going to do, I just enacted a policy that um, basically everyone got a pay raise because um, I'm going into an election season and I need people to help me get back into office. So we have about 3.4 million government employees that we need to keep happy, and I actually have tried to record this a uh, previous time, and so they um, unfortunately did not, especially the teachers, they wanted a pay raise, so I just invested almost $10 billion into our economy, or into our government employees, to try and um, get them to support us. So, what we are going to do is that we are going to come over here, and we're going to make a reform which will actually um, change the t level of tax investigation. So we're going to go ahead and call this um, the internal. We're going to call it the IRR, the internal revenue reform. We're going to go ahead and confirm that reform. And um, that is not going to pass. However, we are going to go ahead and um, add... Um, tax exonerations for war veterans um, to gain support um, that definitely got overwhelming support for our um, reform. So that is going to um, help us reduce inflation. Um, so what we are going to do is that we are going to skip over to the beginning of the election. We have 125 days until the government election. Um... But um, we are actually going to come over here and we are going to press to try to um, get Rocky Brethren of Islam. Um, so let's go to interior and then let's go to other parties and then let's start launching investigations into... Um, our political enemies. Well, we still have a lot of people that are... Um, we did switch parties, so I guess the game actually just got confused. Oh wait, no, this is other parties. And there's that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and skip to the next day. And we are going to skip. Do not allow them live decently. While I don't encourage them, and I can pretty much agree with them. Well, I just gave everyone a pay raise. Come on. Target is in position 24-7. So let's see what kind of dirt we have on these people. So let's go over here. Consult secret files on celebrities. Development is relatively simple. Greedy, cunning, and deceitful character. Figure of little rebuke, lacking in experience. Very politically committed personal personality. Uh, veneration toward the head of state. 
um, respect toward the head of state, and then a lot of respect toward the head of state. Um, we can probably try to see if we can try to get these guys to drop out of the election. Um, maybe because, um, look at that, they're communists. Respect. The vote was held. That was quick. So, we got that passed. Uh, tax investigations are now frequent and repressive. So, we are good on that. Treasury Reserve, we have over $87.6 billion in our treasury. Um, we owe, <laughs> look at that, we owe Brazil $40. Literally, like, one of our citizens can pay off the national debt that we owe to <laughs> Brazil. That is funny. Um... Parliament. Um, speaking of that, guys, we actually saw some big, big news in recent days. Uh, President Donald Trump has actually pulled out of the Iran nuclear deal. This was a deal that was uh, pushed forth by President Barack Obama, and this basically was supposed to stop Iran from getting a, a nuclear bomb. However, the United States has pulled out of the deal as the current president of the United States, um, losing patient regarding salary as they consider legitimate given a cost. Of, wait. Okay, so let's go over to civil servant. 700, 700. It's going to cost us $15 billion, but it makes people happy. Go ahead. Probably going to have to cut funding to something. It's going to increase inflation, like, probably by a little bit. Inauguration of a Navy base, we're going to go ahead and go. The theory... No to cynicism is chosen its side. That of the rich who prefer cynical pragmatism to solidarity to them by abuse of the Borgies. God. Unless everyone's going to start whining about me increasing the pay for my entire government. Alright, inflation is going down, so that's good. Um, whenever the first polls actually start to come out for the election, um, that will actually be a marker for how people will perceive me and how people will like me. Um, I, the, maybe this could be the last episode of the Islamic Republic. People are refusing the reforms that I am, that I am introducing, um, and they do not like it. So if we lose the election, we lose the election. All right, it looks like our revenue is actually going up, so that is good. Uh, value added tax, uh, we are making $53 billion through value added, so that is good. Uh, we have 70 days until the election, so we are definitely going to be doing a little bit of skipping, trying to make sure that we are getting um, to where we need to go. Honestly, I wish um, every election would be held 30 days, and I only have 30 days of campaign. I actually do a lot well during those 30 days um, to campaign. However, 60 days, it takes a lot, and it takes a lot of money, and it takes a lot, and I'm not able to do a lot. Election campaign. The election campaign has officially begun. All right, we're going to go ahead and call for a few meetings. 
Um, we are going to meet with our right wing billionaire. We are also going to hold a election campaign. Six eight eighteen. Oh, we're twenty twenty one. Okay, let's go ahead and um, kick off the electoral campaign in Tehran. So let's go over to Tehran. We're going to go ahead and hold this rally on Monday. And we're going to promise that we are going to know I'm going to cut that to 18%. 11% of approval that we just got. We're going to go ahead and skip to that Monday. We're going to also going to wait for the first. Leads with 32% of the vote. However, we're going to go ahead and look at it. We are very we are leading um very closely to uh um the Shiite party's 30.5% of the vote. Um we are going to hold another I'm going to hold that in East Azerbaijan. We're going to hold that for Wednesday. We're going to introduce housing reform. We're going to rehabilitate 25,000 houses. I'm going to go to Monday. We're going to meet with our billionaire. Okay. We're going to ask him for money, because we need money. Ask him to speak highly of you. I'm, st I'm sorry we still agree. Yes. What I could have done is I could have uh, just made a um, limited funding. Okay, let's go to elections. Let's check to see where everything is. Let's go to Iranian Kurdistan. Theater venue, we're going to hold that for Saturday. We are going to propose for increased police. Put that as a campaign promised. We have people liking that. We're going to go ahead and hold the next one in Kudazan. Kuzestan. Um, theater venue, we're going to hold that for Monday. And let's promise more money for maternity leave. You know what we're actually going to put? Uh, we're going to put half. 19%. We actually have positive, uh, but we just suffered a terrorist attack. Elections, candidate. Uh, education, let's go over here. Let's go ahead and, um, promise more money for, uh, renewal and maintenance. Actually, we're going to promise more, uh, school equipment and material. That's going to be about a billion dollars that we're promising. That got us a lot of approval, actually. So we're going to 5.1 million dollars transferred into our bank all right, what we're going to do now, we're going to go to political parties, we're going to go to my party, and we're going to launch a fundraising campaign, $1.3 million. But we are going to get a massive return um, since it is an election season. We have 58 days until the election. So let's go to the elections. Um, we got someone catching up, 9%. That is from the Independence Party. Um, hopefully we can... Um, we're going to hold that in Kerman. We're going to be doing a lot of theater venues Saturday. Um, state pressures and influence or freedom of expression. 
Uh, oh, we're going to go for a mixed public and private system. We're going to go ahead and put that down as a campaign promise. 44% approval. Um... I'm also going to be doing a couple meetings with people, try to get them to actually get people to come out and vote for me. And... We're going to put that in for Monday. Uh, political parties, legislation, we already are a free multi-party system. Let's come over here. Here to occupational med medicine. Let's go for that. I think someone has a negative approval. No. Um, however, um, I don't know when the next one is actually going to be held. So we're going to go ahead and go in a couple days. Um, let all that come through. However, I'm going to go ahead and meet with a couple people. Try to get them to um, get their people to come out and support me. I have no approval with the unions. That is unfortunate. Associations, I think I have a couple of people who support me. I'm going to meet with the ecologist uh, president. A lot of people don't like me. That is probably why no one wants to vote for me. Um, Pope, no. Athletes, let's see which of our celebrities actually likes me. None. I'm losing with a lot of people, so that's probably going to be my downfall. Uh, Prima Donna... I am losing on a lot of fronts. That's probably going to hurt me in the long run. Congratulations. However, we are getting a lot of support from our uh, people. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. And... Meeting, please ask people to vote for me. 7.3 million people. With all. Oh. Don't panic. That's good. Probably even give him the Ministry of Environment. Oh my god, come on! Okay, so let's go over to Civil Servant. And let's ask for our education department to be... Campaign promise. Let's go ahead and hold that in Tehran. I've been giving everyone pay raises and they just don't want to support me. $93 billion cash surplus and accumulation in the treasury. Nice. Less than zero days, salary increase. I've been giving you guys... A lot. Okay, so I guess uh, our television appearance. I'm out of the leading trio? Really? I have 21% of the vote. However, I can probably steal. I can probably go after a couple people. However, I do have the most popular campaign out of everyone.
All right, the strike is over. But I need to recover my Um, I am actually going to go after ballots destroyed during counting. I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. I'm going to see what the people actually think of that. Okay, so let's go to elections. Let's go to Ronnie and Kurdistan. And let's go to Wednesday. And let's go to elections. Let's go to change of renewal. Legal voting age. And actually put that down to 17. Campaign promise. Yeah, people like that. So we have a good, healthy... Uh, campaign... Uh, popularity. However, we're losing on a lot of fronts. Especially um, people. Key figures and stuff like that. So it's... Uh, it's very difficult for me to actually try to gain their support, except for the ecologist, except he hates me. Okay, let's go to him. I'm going to try to bribe him, try to see if he can get people to come out. I'm going to meet with him as soon as possible tomorrow. Congratulations, yeah, 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 but we're at risk of losing the election. We have 45 days until the election. See if I can bribe him. 75. Mm hmm. Be more precise. What amount are you thinking of exactly? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. Don't pay. Good, good, good. Four point two percent growth. Good. It's like our public finances are actually recovering. So election, um, the uh, religious authoritarian is actually, um, in the lead, so they could actually take back the presidency. Let's try to get mine to the max that it can get to, which is 100. Theater venue, Tuesday, research, and let's put more people into work. 68% popularity. <clears throat> Suggest confidential information. Uh, people are liking me? I don't know. You can uh, put it in uh, labor union rights, recognized and implemented. So let's announce that in Kerman. This could actually get the approval of people. Yeah, that did. Eight million dollars was was raised. Okay, so let's meet with our businessman again and cancel elections. Waiting for a new INS poll to come out. Okay, so we have a new poll coming out, 
However, we are in third place, so that is good. No information on them, no information on them, and no information on them when we're spying on all of them. Oh, come on. Pull that for Saturday. And let's give more money into public safety. We have a very expensive campaign. Meet with our billionaire, try to see if he can give us more money. I'm yes. Okay, good. How many days are until the election? 38. Salary increase. God, why does everyone want a fucking salary increase? Okay, so that's our announcement on that. Elections. Um, closest one is the Independent Party um, with 40% of the popular vote. Kuzestan. And we're going to hold that for Monday. Transportation. Gonna put more money into air transport. Got that got us two points in approval. Campaign statements, statements on the press. Uh family. Could do a little bit. Regular contraception. Do something on taxes. Oh, promise already dealt. Uh, we're gonna increase the tax on the pornography industry. Ramadan, and let's go for a Wednesday. Wow, got us like twelve percent in approval. That's funny. Public safety. All right, good. Um, Five million dollar bank transfer. No more controls. We can't go working like slaves, Mr. President. We stay, spend our time. Those controls disrupt and paralyze businesses. We have... We, I've had my third check of the year and never a fine. I figured my accountant, three secretaries, and I spent more time... In, with the expector, then the board of directors. It's the same with all sectors. If this continues, we'll go bankrupt. Okay, so I can actually promise to take that out. Since we just implemented it, we could actually just take it out. So let's go back to regular and repressive. Let's go for um, an event in Markazi on Friday. I think that would actually get us a couple more points in approval. Yep, it did. We have max 100% approval. So that is good. Um, we're going to wait for another INS poll to come out while so simultaneously doing more election promises. Hopefully we're going to be in the leading duo. However, we can still commit electoral fraud. Um... It is, of course, an anti-democratic act, and that can be heavily punished if it is found out. Price per barrel, $53. We have 30 days until the election now. Let's go to culture, and let's promise to put more money into literature. Bars on Monday. And then during the debate, if we actually get into the debate, we can actually just... So there has to be a way that I can sabotage one of their campaigns. Let's meet with you. 
Try to see if you can drop out. Maybe I can bribe you. Oh, come on. Very well. What kind of offer do you wish to make us? Very well. 1.2 million there. Very well. And what let's go for $1,200. Um We would prefer to Oh, come on. They want like probably 2 or 3,000. Start by Here on TV. Okay, we have a new INS poll. We are in the back. Double enrollment of electors. Okay. Possibly good on that. Salary increase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many people watched your television as usual. No thank. Yes. No. Okay, so I am going to see how corruptible you are. You're very corruptible. Let's do it. Mhm. Mm Be more precise. What amount are you thinking of exactly? Mhm. Mm I haven't forgotten my debt to you. But what you're asking God damn it. is beyond my capabilities. All right. Uh, I think the only thing we can really do is just wait until the election. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and disperse the strike. And people don't like that. I'm losing more and more popularity. Yay! During an election. Hell, I mean, and this could be the end. This could be the end of the Islamic Republic of Iran series. Mm, we have 16 days until the election. Again, the only thing we can really do is just... Keep skipping until we get to the election. You are a fool. You are, you are screwing up the whole thing. Your job and your country. You cannot continue like this. I cannot even back you up in such a blow. What did I do? The thing okay. Election, 38% of the vote. What's going on? I have 8% of the vote. This is embarrassing. It, yeah, I think uh, this possibly might be the end. If I don't win, then that's the end for the Islamic Republic of Iran. I could just, cont I could just start a new series. Most likely, I'm just going to do another United States series, which I'm actually wanting to do. Uh, however... Um, I really need to start building relationships with um, the people. And I never really concentrate on trying to build relationships with other countries. Or not other countries, but uh, with the people in my country. I never really concentrate on that. And I usually ignore um, all of that. So that's lesson learned. So let's see what the election results are going to be. If I am caught after this, then this could be the end. Um, we now have two days, and we have one day. Tomorrow, 61.4 million people are going to the polls. Let's go ahead and see how those results actually pan out. Good evening. The majority of votes have... Let's see how bad we did. Yep. We totally lost. Even whenever we cheated. 
does seem like um, people just did not like the change that was going on in Iran. Told, one of the defeated candidates is ready to make an announcement. Let's go to them now and see what they have to say. Good evening. I am stunned by tonight's results. Although we are still waiting for the official final results, oh, yeah. there is no doubt that I have been eliminated from the race. Good night. <laughs> that was a worst concession speech ever. So, let's see the breakdown. As you can see, I did actually I actually did very terrible. Um a lot of this I did not I I just had no support from anyone. Um and usually to win elections in this game, you I didn't see I mean, look at this. The Shiite community. I did horrible the Shiite community. 4% of the Shiite community voted for voted for me. And if I actually had most of that, if I actually paid attention to the Shiite community, and I think that's the reason I actually lost this election, is that is literally because of um, the... I took away the Islamic Republic, and I took away what, they, what the protections that the majority religion actually had. So that is why... Um, they actually did not vote for me. However, I did get a lot of the popular vote in a lot of these regions. Tehran actually voted for me 49.2% to 21.2%. So, guys, if you guys like this, um, please actually just like this video. And this is going to be, wow, turn out 52% um, of the country came out. So, guys, if you like this, go ahead, leave a like, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. This is going to be the final uh, video. This is going to be the this is going to be the final episode of the Islamic Republic of Iran. We have lost the election in the Islamic Republic, and we are unable to continue anymore. I have, and I'm not able to do that. I am not going to cheat, and I think I'm going to go ahead and call it um, for this series, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the Islamic Republic of Iran. Maybe soon enough we can do a remake and we can continue the legacy of the Islamic, Islamic Republic. Um, so guys, if you like this, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next series that I do on this channel for Power and Revolution. Take care.